Hi, this is Luis Souza from RobGuilpower.com and I'm answering today a very interesting question. The person is saying, I am a vegan diabetic type 2 and overweight. I also have osteoporosis. Suge su suggestions please for a little fat carbs recipes. Well, this is a pretty tough situation you are in, my friend. Because if you are vegan, I, I'm sure that you took this step for ethical and maybe even health issues. I, I mean health reasons. Well, it's pretty sad when we do take this kind of step and, and we realize that things aren't really working the way it should, right? And, and sadly, and even sadder, is the truth that most of things that you can eat are vegan. It's, it's pretty funny to realize that mm, the majority of the population is mostly vegan because they eat lots of vegan stuff. Yeah, it's pretty sad because they eat lots of grains, drink lots of coffee, chocolate, um, there are lots of things that, that, that are already vegan. You, you know, bread can be vegan. Snacks, lots of things can be vegan. And if you just take this step of being just vegan, it won't solve you, it won't really help you get healthy. This is pretty difficult to understand because I know that it's a huge step, you know, becoming vegan. But sugar is vegan. You see, lots of things are vegan and they can harm you if you eat too much of them. And I know people like uh, Jeff Sekerak, who is a famous raw vegan now, who got in a, into a very bad health situation being vegan. So you need to take care of this, you know. And if you are here asking to me in rawveganpower.com a question, then you are thinking about being a raw vegan, right? Well, my friend, this will keep you far away from lots of vegan stuff, okay? When you become raw, you are better off. Because you will start eating things that are less processed, okay? And uh, you will have more awareness of your body. You will have more awareness of your whole health situation. Well, this will be a good step. And the eight and ten diet is the one that I, I would uh, suggest to you. You need to eat lots of fruits, even if you are in a di diabetic situation now. There are many people who overcame diabetic type 2. They are not diabetic anymore by being on an 8 and 10 diet. You need to lower your fat levels, okay, fat consumption levels, and uh, improve 
the carbohydrate consumption. In doing so, it's good to know that you will change, you know, and you will get uh, less calories for the same amount of food, or maybe, you know, with fruits you will do that, this, this. Lots of energy, lots of power from inside you. So, uh, I think you are on the right path now to lose weight, say goodbye to the, to the diabetic situation that you are in now. And for osteoporosis, I'm not sure about your age, but uh, exercise. I'm pretty sure that the best advice that I can give to anyone who, who has or who doesn't want to have osteoporosis is to exercise, you know, heavy lifting, weightlifting, sorry, weightlifting. If you start uh, weightlifting, you will have stronger muscles and stronger bones as well. This is the way to have strong bones and be far away from any osteoporosis situation. Okay? Hope you could benefit from my answer and keep sending questions to robinganpower.com slash welcome. Okay? If you think this answer was beneficial to you, give a thumbs up to this video and subscribe to our channel. See you on the next answer. Bye-bye.